Hey everyone, this is Rafal Hoffman. The question in this video is how do each of the stages of spiral dynamics view just the stage coral? And we're going to do uh, as best we can to say this as coherently as possible. Stage red, they see coral and, and simply call him a radical left. They can't fathom what's going on here, so they just, they just say, oh, it's a radical left. They, uh, he seems kind of leftist. He seems extreme. I cannot understand them in the slightest, so he must be radical left. The blue says Coral is an anarchist. They want to destroy the uh, the system. They want to destroy our, our capitalist country. They want to destroy the system. So that would be uh, stage blue. Um, and the reason why they understand this, or they feel that they understand this, is because they don't want their system to break apart. Their system is doctrine. So they just say, oh, it's an anarchist. Go get him. He's doing something illegal. He's doing something bad. Um, and but they're so much, they're so small, they're so myopic in, in understanding, so they're lacking. Stage orange can't understand coral, uh, but what he does do is he, he calls him emotionally or psychologically disturbed, because they're so they're thinking so small in terms of their in terms of their own personal businesses, and they're so afraid of losing their businesses, and they're so afraid of losing uh, money and all that, that um, it just it just the fear causes cognitive dissonance and forces them into this bubble of consciousness where they have the problem if it messes with business, even if they're not directly conscious of it, they are probably disturbed uh, because business is priority. Next is Green. The way Green views uh, Stage Coral is that he's a fake leftist. He's not a real leftist. He doesn't really care about people and that's what a leftist is really about. Rather, what is he? He's a person who wants to control people. He wants to control situations. And as a result, they view him as semi-unstable, which is similar to orange. They view him, but, but green views unstable people as an opportunity to change. Like, they're kind of upset and they don't really want to change people who are lower down. But what they do want to do is they want to feel um, an ego. They want to feel like green is the best. And so they'll take pride when um, when they can change this person. So they'll, that's why they view him as semi-unstable. Meaning he's unstable, but it's okay. People are unstable. We got to change him. We got to turn him green. Even though they're they're talking to uh, they're talking to someone who's way more advanced than them in understanding human nature, understanding the world and the universe. But you you can't reason with them. You're just gonna have to let them be, I guess, until they grow out of it. And then yellow is yellow relates to coral. Because they're th they they both think with such uh, with so many ideas and with such complexity, but yellow believes that coral's moving too quickly. Well, you gotta slow down here. We gotta do one book at a time. We gotta do one subject at a time. We gotta do one uh, situation at a time. How can you get the, all this done? What he doesn't realize is what he doesn't understand is the potential in consciousness to factor in so much. Each decision you make is is factoring in a huge amount. Like you're you're you understand. There's a whole. The whole, there's a whole cosmic system at large here that, that Yellow is not yet aware of, and he's just beginning to understand this intellectually, but not knowingly. And so Coral lives that reality of the cosmic, uh, ever-changing cosmic, uh, cosmic flow of right and left, of infinity. Everything's moving around infinitely with uh, with an with an order and and perpetual motion motion system that uh, that is unfathomable. But Coral is also myopic in that they don't realize that the system doesn't require them to move things. And if it did, it shouldn't make you want to control it because that too, the lack of control, the lack of movement is also part of that system and Teal probably uh, probably understands that a little better. But uh, so that's yellow and then Turquoise understands where Coral is coming from. He's not judgmental about his nature, but he's not on board. <laughs> He says, okay, I see where you're coming from. You're saying some good points, but that's not my way. You can do your thing, but that's not my way. Um, so, but he's willing to speculate, and that's important. He's willing, he has the mind and the capacity to put himself in a coral shoes and say, where is he coming from? And he's willing to speculate what it will be like to live that reality, to be that reality, and he'll be interested in it. And then he'll probably get lost in thought and return to his own uh, equilibrium and own st uh, his own quiet within that within the turquoise so that's interesting turquoise you can do so basically the best psychologist will probably for a, for a coral is the turquoise <laughs> um which is important information in these days and then the, uh coral understands each other so a coral understands why he's doing the way he's, he's doing things the way he's doing 
What also might happen, I don't know if this has a result of realizing the spiral dynamics uh, pattern, uh, because we're, we're, brought, we're brought, it's brought to our attention with diagrams, or if it's because we would naturally know about the diagrams without being presented to it. That, that will require study. If people have realized this pattern uh, um, in coral without having to look at diagrams. And so corals, uh, another facet of corals, they might be competing with each other. They might be rushing the process. Because already in orange, orange is also a parallel to coral in terms of uh, insensitivity, what you say, or lack of empathy. Corals are empathetic in uh, in, in spirituality and in, in psychic phenomenon because they, they, they're an empty heart so, they're, so they take on people's emotions so their own emotions are not the emotions they have are not their own emotions or other people's emotions which sounds kind of crazy you know like schizophrenics make stuff like this uh, say stuff like this but um so an orange is you can't under uh, so the orange was insensitive uh, I lost my train of thought but it's fine so basically coral will understand other corals and why they're trying to rush the process and they might be in competition with each other uh, it's not certain if it's uh, if it's as a result of a trend but we do know that orange was in competition um, that orange wants to be the best because best relates to prosperity so they will try to advance faster automatically just by knowing there's a chart and they'll actually probably have a better chance of skipping over green because of the hate towards green and the desire to grow they'll in immerse themselves in intellectualism and then they'll backtrack They'll try to immerse in yellow, which is very challenging because it involves systems thinking, but that'll force them into realizing slowly, slowly that green is that sensitive, that empathy, sensitivity, that people at large are significant to the to the system. And therefore, it'll it'll transfer the consciousness into green, kind of moving backwards. I don't know if, if everyone is like that, but it could very well be a pattern. I've mentioned a ton of patterns and possibilities. I think whenever I say it, I think it's true. Sometimes there's a small contradiction. I go back and make a clarification, but more or less uh, what I say, I believe is reliable. So that's how coral will view other corals, that they understand where they're coming from. And the most that will happen is they'll compete and they might disagree. Now teal is basically, for me, it's speculation because I'm inching my way into teal right now. I don't know what it's about. I'm sort of like, it's unexplored territory. I believe I have 20 to 25, maybe 30, 30% uh, 30 coral. And every day I try to move more myself into coral, which I feel as I see orange diminishing. But uh, in teal, they might see a flaw in a lack of consistency and organization for coral. Coral doesn't mind being all over the place. And Teal might see the flaw in that. Organization is where it's at because they're back to people again. They're back to other. And so they value organization once again. And they'll see the flaw in, uh, in all that. There is a parallel in um, Spiral Dynamics in Integral where as you go up in these states of in these in this part of the spiral, you're actually increasing in such an extraordinary level of consciousness that they're actually separate colors. Uh, Ken Wilber labels separate colors that relate to psychic abilities that relate to things like meta mind, para mind, and super mind, uh, which your your level your it's like a stage t it's a tier he considers it a tier three because above um, I don't know if he considers turquoise tier three I think it's not once you pass turquoise or enter into 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 coral you start it's it's like maximizing on turquoise I also don't know if you can skip. Uh, skip coral and enter into teal and then backtrack the same way I personally believe you can uh, orange skips to yellow and they backtrack to green because a turquoise might be so uncomfortable with coral the same way orange is uncomfortable with green that they may try to skip till teal create organization first and then backtrack into seeing the importance of breaking down systems afterwards uh, which happens which seems to happen to a lot of orange people and they fail and they fail miserably to enter into yellow but the more they enter into yellow, the more, because it, it's not a linear growth process, the more green gets activated along the way. Because there is a certain level of linear, um, linear uh, movement, despite it, despite, despite it all. The activation and trickling in, in various parts of the, the mind, the brain, the thought process, the, uh, the way we, the way our, our, way of, our thinking patterns evolve, our uh, condition is. So that covers it. The uh, the big question that that I have is is how teal approaches 
uh, coral. But as implied, I imagine it has something to do with that lack of consistency and organization. So it would say that they're fall they're falling short in that. And although teal and coral both uh, promote self-reliance, uh, coral promotes self-reliance is that I gotta do this myself. Teal promotes self-reliance is that we gotta do this ourselves. <laughs> she wants to create a group of self-reliant people um, with a much higher state of consciousness, as if uh, she's just trying to find people that are just like her, or he trying to find people that are just like him, uh, which sounds kind of like conform to me, which is why you can imagine so many other stages ahead. But she wants, he or she wants to get so many like-minded people who are advanced, uh, so as to uh, so as to initiate change. But the change is not through isolate. It's not through self-reliance away from people. It's self-reliance uh, with each other. And I don't. I, I don't know yet if teal. What teal entails is. I don't know yet if te what teal entails is not liking the disorder, disorderly system of, of, of coral or applying it within an organization. Meaning make, making drastic change within an organization that is, um, that has, that views each other as themselves, but not with trying, but just that being the state of consciousness. 